Now, the Supreme Court has directed the Electoral Commission to suspend its planned nationwide voter registration exercise. The 10-day exercise should have started Friday, July 25, but the court wants it put off until it decides a case in which the use of NHIS cards as proof of citizenship in, in part of the exercise is being challenged. Anya Sabote was in court and he joins me in the studio to tell us more. Okay, so what actually transpired in courts? Okay, so essentially, uh, this, you know, today when we went, um, the, 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 on, I think on Monday, that was the very first, the case was... We, we were expecting to hear the ruling today. Exactly. We were expecting to, for them to commence with the whole prison, and then the ruling will come. Then later they will assign reasons as to why, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. So, um, it came that once the judges argued, judges from both parties, that's the plaintiffs and that's of the defendants, argued their case out, then it became... Uh, necessary that they have to adjourn the case and then they come back on Wednesday. But there was also, uh, prior to the whole issue itself, which the plaintiffs are raising questions about the u use of NHIS as part of the materials that in the, in, during the exercise you can produce. They are challenging that because they believe that, you know, it's a whole safe thing. Somebody can come to the country for six months, you can get NHI card. It doesn't state whether or not the person is Ghanaian or not. And therefore, they believe that it's, it gives an opportunity for even non ghanaians to have their names on the voter register. However, so, but before that, uh, the lawyer f for the one of the plaintiffs, in the person of uh, Abu Ramadan's uh, lawyer, Nana, video to file an interlocutory injunction to restrain the Electoral Commission from going ahead to conduct the exercise. Um, but uh, it's an oral uh, order was made the last time because they believed that they would have tried the issues out by today. But unfortunately, it's been carried off till Wednesday, that is 30th. So, uh, Justice Doche rose to his feet and he actually pointed out that, I mean, the, it appears the Electoral Commission is not respecting the order that was given the last time because he personally saw an advert on one of the television stations, I think TV3 also, he mentioned. And, uh, and therefore, he thought that this was in breach of the orders that was given by the court. And he actually described that as an impunity in the body politic that ought not to be tolerated. So we realized that at a point in time when it took a short minute, a short break, that was 30 minutes, the electoral commission was actually ordered to ensure that all the adverts are withdrawn, both on television, radio, and newspapers. Yeah. So, and, um, so I actually spoke with the electoral commission deputy, uh, Okay. In terms of operations, Ahmadi Suleiman, and he actually confirmed that indeed process steps have been taken to ensure that you know, the redraw that red. Before I came to the studio, they've actually issued a statement which they've complied with the directive. Though the uh, corporate affairs director, Christian Superior, admitted that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really an unfortunate thing for them, but they have to comply with the law, they have to go ahead because now, you know, the, it appears that the plan that they, they have, they have to shelve it and re apply the rules again. Okay. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ani Osabute. And uh, Ani Osabute was in court where, uh, which is hearing, the Supreme Court, which is hearing the case in which the use of NHIS cards as part of the process, or in the process of the voter registration exercise, is being challenged. We're taking a break now. We'll bring you more stories to stay tuned.